another video today. I got Relatable Childhood Means Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 1, it'll be down in the description. It'll also be coming up on the screen up there somewhere in the card. So if you saw Part 1 and you related to those, you're definitely going to relate to these in Part 2. If you are not already, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications, and drop a like on this video. Let's get started. Number 1. Life ain't been the same since they took my dog away. Oh man, yeah, that was really a day when they took away the high C from McDonald's. I didn't know how to act because I had been getting that for so long. I remember as a kid getting that. Chick-fil-A was about the only one that had another high C flavor and that was the red one. But now we don't have to worry about that anymore because they're bringing the high C back. And I really think that they should bring another flavor to make up for the lost time that we could have had enjoying this orange one. I'm really, really excited to try it. I haven't actually looked into it. I saw a post on Instagram saying that they were gonna have it coming back soon. So I'll look into that later to see if they actually did bring it back. False advertisement is never a good idea, especially in situations like this. This is serious. Anybody this old, I remember that. I remember watching the visualizer for, it seemed like hours. It wasn't that long. It was only like 30 minutes, but the visualizer, and then I forgot to put on here the desktop screensaver. You know how it's a whole bunch of bricks and it's just going in a circle and it loops and it does the, oh man. That was cool. I stared into that for I don't know how long. Visualizer was so mesmerizing. The screensaver was so mesmerizing. And I just got lost in that. I just really thought it was so cool. I'm like, how, how did they make this? How did they make this? I don't know if they even have visualizers today. Now that I think about it. I think iTunes might have it and Windows may not. I'm not sure. Comment down below if they do still have visualizers. If you need to be on an old edition of the program to see it. Or if they just discontinued it. I hope they didn't discontinue it because... That would not be fun. At least give us the option to have it, whether or not. You had these when you were in elementary, you lived your childhood right. Oh man, Smensels. I remember the Smensels. I remember when they started selling them and I remember everybody having one. I really didn't like using the pencil because I knew that that smell would be gone. And then I know some of my friends used to mix them so they could make a totally new scent. Not out of the pencil, but out of the little container. Cause you know, the pencils got the scent and the containers got the scent from the smell being in there. Man, that was just so rewarding. Sniffing that and smelling root beer took your mind off of the stresses that you had to go through during the day working on papers and stuff. Think if they could put this smell on a mechanical pencil. While I was recording this, I looked up if they had mechanical smensels and they do. You can go get them on Amazon. You can get the original smensel. You can get the new mechanical smensel. They probably got new scents. So I'm definitely going to be getting one. I did not know that they had them. I didn't even know they still made them. That's so crazy. That's next level. And I hope this Mentals thinks of something like that because that will be innovative and that's going to put them in the future. That's going to put them on for who knows how long. And I bet you people will start getting them again. You have not experienced true fear until a poster falls down in the middle of the night. I remember that happening all the time. I don't really have too many posters in my room now, but I remember being like 11 or 12 and having the Naruto Shippuden posters all on the wall because that's when the new poster sign came out. If you don't know what the poster signs are, it's a little book where they give you like, I don't know how many posters, but they had a couple for the original Naruto series. So yeah, a poster would come off and it will fall down most likely because I didn't tack it up properly or I moved the posters around too much and retacked them that they won't tack onto anything else. And I can't do anything about that. That's really irritating. Sometimes they don't stay up properly. So really, if you get a poster, it better not have another side. So you just gotta put it up and not ever move it again. <laughs> When I was younger, if you could run up the slide, you had skill. Man, it took me the longest to learn how to do that. And I don't even remember how I finally was able to perfect it. But one day, I just went off. I did it without my arms. I was like, yeah, yeah, I reached a whole new level. You can't get on my level. I can do it with one arm, I can do it with no arms. Check me out, man, check me out. Oh, uh, you're not on my level. You can't get on my level, don't mess with me. I walk up the slide, I walk back out the slide. You can't do nothing. Reminds me of an honorable mention. You know when you had your fit on, you had to go to the pencil sharpener to show out your fit for the day, man. And take an extra long time sharpening your pencil. Sometimes I wouldn't even be sharpening it. I'd just be like using a crank. And that's kind of funny because you wore uniforms at the time. But thanks for watching this video, Relatable Childhood Means Part 2. Like I said, if you haven't seen Part 1, make sure you go ahead and go back and watch that. Part 3 is coming soon. It's not going to be a couple of months. It's going to be a couple of weeks. 
and I've already started getting some pictures in for that one. Thanks for watching, and if you're not already subscribed, I hope you enjoyed the skits. Hope you watched my previous videos. I hope you pressed the like button. I hope you pressed it. If you didn't, then that's all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.